Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video over this bag right here, which is the Coach Laura Bucket Bag in the color Pollen with Gunmetal Hardware. And I thought I'd do just like a fun little review of this bag just because it is a fairly interesting bag in my collection. Um, I don't have really like a bucket bag in my collection, so I thought I would talk a little bit about it and show you guys the details. So if you're interested in this video, do stay tuned. Also, if you're interested in these kind of videos, do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags, reviews, and other stuff too. So if you're interested in this kind of content, do consider um, subscribing. Thank you. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, I'm just sharing with you guys bags from my own personal collection and the love of handbags as well. So yeah, so, I, so when it comes to Laura Bucket Bag, as you can see, it is a pretty cute little bag. Um, it is fairly minimal in its overall design, but it does have some really cute, interesting aspects um, throughout the like bag itself. So on the front here, you can see that it does have a front pocket that is going to be um, like open and close via this turn lock in the front. And on top of that, you can see the whip stitch detailing on the top of that pocket as well. On the back of the bag, you can see that it's already pretty empty with a little button there, which is actually for the interior of the bag um, because it is held together by a little button. So they have the button on the back. And then on the bottom of the bag, it does also feature four feet in the gunmetal hardware as well. And then the bag itself does feature two handles as well. So you have a little short top handle here that is removable and is super cute, like held as a top handle, which is the way I actually carry this bag pretty frequently. And then you do also get a removable and adjustable crossbody strap as well. Um, it has seven adjustments on one side with this little buckle here. And it is also pretty, I would say pretty like good in size like it is not like a super thin bag strap it's also not super thick it's like a good in between size and then when it comes to like the sides of the bag you can see that there is a seam there for how the bag is stitched which goes along the sides it does have a little pad right there which is used to hold the um d-ring here for the strap of the bag and then on the side it is going to be the same um, layout as well however there is a little tiny d-ring that is attached there for the hang tag of the bag and it is just going to be in the color pollen on both sides with the coach new york embossing on the front okay and i think like the main detail of this bag which makes it like super cute is going to be these little tassels on both sides that are in this like very um fun zigzag pattern and it has a little knot or bow on the top of that and it is used to hold these drawstring together in place so yeah you get two of them on each side so it's like two little bag charms on your back. Inside the bag, all you have to do is just like pull the drawstring on each side of the bag to um, open up the top section here. And you can see that on the interior of the bag, it is gonna be lined in a burgundy leather, like so. And there are really no pockets on the inside of this bag. Um, you just have the one back slip pocket right here. And usually back here, I just keep the price tag of the bag and also the care instructions as well. Um, but most of the time I do just like use the main compartment of the bag to hold my items and like I mentioned earlier too that this little button here is actually for a little snap button on the inside of the bag so if I do close it you can like kind of hear the button see you can kind of hear it so yeah that's that <laughs> So now I'm gonna go ahead and put some items in here to show you guys like everything this bag can fit and this bag fits a ton of stuff um, because it is a really nice you know, cylindrical shape and it is just really spacious super spacious. So the first item I'll put in here is just going to be my Michael Kors um, pencil case and it is in a really fun pink color. Um, the inside of this item is like destroyed because of pens and pencils and stuff um, but overall I just like this one a lot because it's just like in that super durable leather. So yeah. Okay, so next is just my coach wristlet and this is really nice because it is um, like the perfect size for me as like an essential wristlet. So I just have like Germex, um, some sunscreen, a chapstick, and also like a mask as well in here. Um, and I really like it just because I do often change bags pretty frequently. So this is a really great size from for like most of my medium sized bags. So I just like pop this in here um, when I'm changing out bags. So here's that. So the next item is just this little Kate Spade pouch. And this is more of like my tech pouch. Um, I usually have my um, 
phone cable charger and little block in here. I also have like lens cleaner, some gum, and also a compact as well. So this is really great um, as, you know, like a pouch inside a bag. So the next item is just my little coin pouch. And I really like this one because it is in a really um, sturdy coat canvas. And all I have in here is just like change, some cash, and also um, like loyalty cards as well that I keep in here. So next are my keys and I just have it on like a red wristlet strap so I can easily find them. So after that I just have my card case and it's just like this um red Gucci card case. I got this a while back and I like it but it's just I don't know it's just not my favorite card case. Um I'm just using it now because I found it the other day um and I've like actually been using it for a while so I'm probably gonna change it out soon but there's that. So the last item I'll put in my bag is just going to be my phone um but i'm using my phone to film so i'm just gonna put my phone case in here to show you guys that it fits so yeah okay, and actually i forgot one more thing um i will stick in a little notebook in here um sometimes i just like to jot down notes and stuff so yeah my little notebook will go with me okay so here's all the items inside of my bag and as you can see um i still actually have some extra space like honestly i can stick a big like, water bottle or something in here um but i would typically just pack this um for like every day and i have my items laid out more like horizontally no vertically instead of horizontally so like for example my pencil case instead of having it like this i'll just have it like that so i can easily just pull it out whenever i need it so yeah, that's everything I'm able to fit in the Laura Bucket bag. And now I'll go ahead and show you guys um, some like color comparison, also styling as well. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just a quick color comparison between the color pollen and some other um, popular coach um, yellows. So the first one is a pretty recent color and it is the color Yoke. And this is from like the Coach Originals collection and I just have it in the Turnlock clutch. So as you can see, the two colors next to each other. So this is a very soft yellow. Um, it is kind of like a color of like an egg yolk, um, given the name of the color itself. And the color pollen, and I would say the color pollen, like against this, has a little bit more orange in it. So think of like um, pollen inside of a flower. Like that's what this color um, looks pretty close to. So there's that. Okay. And the other color comparison I want to do is going to be um, the color flax. And here is my Flax Willis 18 next to the color Pollen. And as you see, the color Flax is probably a little bit closer to the color Pollen, but it is going to be in more of that soft yellow range. So there's that for you. Okay, so when it comes to like styling this bag, I don't really do much to it. I usually just keep it as is with the two leather straps that it comes with. However, sometimes I do like to dress up a bit with a dinky chain. So this is a chain strap that is from, I think like my tear is dinky or something. So I just went ahead and took it from that bag and put it on here. Um, and this is like for crossbody. And then I'll show you like um, what I do to carry it as like a shoulder bag with this chain strap. Here's what the bag looks like with the dinky chain doubled up as a shoulder strap. So I sometimes do this if I want to carry the bag as like a shoulder bag instead. And all I had to do was just pull the chain strap through one of the D-rings and connected it over here. So I can just easily carry it as like a shoulder bag. Okay, so that was my little review over the Laura bucket bag. Um, hopefully you guys found this helpful if you were interested in this bag. If you have any further questions about this bag, just leave it down in the comments below and I can try to like help you out there or you can just message me on Instagram as well. Um, but hopefully you guys like this video too. Like and subscribe and other than that guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye! Bye! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so weird. Bye.